Hey Chris, how's it going today? Yeah, good. Cool, you, I'm good. You wanna tell me a little bit about like just what your day was like today? Oh, uh, so my day today, <laughs> I woke up at 11. Grad I school. I watched some CNN, uh, <laughs> catching up on the news, especially the political um, developments in the US with the election coming up. Got some coffee, now I'm just reading some notes for class. I have leadership in conflict today. Why don't you just tell me a little bit about how you ended up in Israel this year in okay. this master's? So um, my background actually is very different for this program than I think a lot of people. So my background's in sports psychology. Um, sports psychology, the all master's program can't cover everything. And one thing that really isn't covered is actually working within teams and resolving conflicts. Um, that's a huge aspect if you look at professional sport with, um, for example, like the Los Angeles Lakers had a lot of conflicts on their championship team that kind of permeated out to the media. So my reason for here, the first one is to kind of learn some conflict resolution skills uh, to use in teams and groups. Uh, the second reason is this program public policy so it kind of has that sort of political international focus as well so eventually I'd like to go into politics also so kind of the components which don't kind of tend to apply to working with um, teams and solving conflicts within individuals that other content I think will help in that endeavor And um, why don't you just tell me, unrelated to school, something unexpected about Israel or, you know, something about this experience that stood out to you? I guess just the city Tel Aviv was a lot more international than I expected coming mm -hmm. in. Cool. I know you've used Israel as a jumping off point for some travel this year. So, yeah, have so you found, where have you gone this year, Chris? So, I've kind of, the places I've gone really... I didn't have any interest or expectation of going to when I came over, um, but I've been to Georgia and Armenia, so that's kind of up in the Caucasus region, and then I've also been to the Balkans, um, so that includes, I was in Serbia, Montenegro, Croatia, and Bosnia and Herzegovina. Um, that's really cool as well because these are kind of conflict ridden areas, um, South Ossetia and Georgia uh, with Russia and then in the Balkans kind of the former Yugoslavia. So that's been really cool to go and see how this course content, although we didn't focus in depth on those conflicts, to kind of see how these principles have kind of applied there, what's been different about it as well.